okay, as we've discussed, to get the metering right when you're taking a photo, to get the exposures right, you've got three ways of metering the image. You've got the shutter speed, the ISO, and the aperture at the front. Now, once you've got a correct exposure, you can change any of those settings, but bear in mind that you're gonna have an equal and opposite reaction with one of the other settings. Let's say, for example, let's say I wanna take a photo of the top of this um, gravestone here and try and get the detail in. If I was to say, I've, outside here, I'm using 100 ISO because we're in bright daylight, bright sunshine, and 100 ISO is perfect for that. Now, I'm on aperture priority, and I'm on F10, which is gonna give me a lot of depth of field. It's a very small hole in the iris in the front. So if I take a photo of this headstone at F10, let's have a look, see what I'm getting. I'm getting a shutter speed of 200th, which is fine. F10 is fine, 100 ISO is fine, and we take the shot. And what you're seeing there is that we've got the headstone perfectly in focus, but we've also got the background in focus as well, or very much in focus. Now, if I'm trying to emphasize something like this, I don't want the background in focus. I just want the headstone to be in focus. I want the background to blow out. So while staying in aperture priority, I'm gonna open the aperture right up to F3.2 and take a photo now. And it's still at 100 ISO, so I'm not changing the ISO for this shot. So let's take the shot now. And what I'm getting now, F3.2 is 2,000th of a second. But as you can see with the photo, we've completely killed the background and just the headstone is in focus. Now that will emphasize the lettering, the, the detail on the headstone without letting the eye wander to the background. So what happened there was as we opened the aperture to lose the depth of field, the shutter speed automatically increased. So as you were on a set of scales, that's what's happening. You open the aperture and the shutter speed will close right down to a, a much faster shutter speed. If I was to do it the other way, I could actually set the camera on manual at 250th at F8, 100 ISO. And then I would have to, if I wanted to change the ISO to maybe add grain effect, to add the ISO right up to 1600 or 3200 to get some real black and white grainy effect here, I would have to adjust something else to compensate for that as well. So always bear in mind that you've got three ways of lighting the shot. You've got the aperture, the shutter speed, and you've got the ISO. And always remember that if you want to change an effect, such as the depth of field, you're gonna to have to compensate with one of the other two settings, either the shutter speed or the ISO.